our sins, return to the Lord, asking God to gather Jim to himself. Let us pray. Lord our God, the death of our brother recalls our human condition and the brevity of all of our lives upon this earth. But for those who believe in your love, death is not the end, nor does it destroy the bonds that you forge in our lives. We share the faith of your son's disciples and the hope of the children of God. Bring the light of Christ's resurrection to this time of testing and pain as we pray for Jim and for those who love him. And we ask this all through Christ our Lord. And this evening we're going to have a couple readings from sacred scripture. And the first reading is from the book of Revelation. I saw a new heaven and a new earth. I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, God's dwelling is with the human race. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will always be with them as their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more mourning or death, wailing or pain, for the old order has passed away. The one who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. The word of the Lord. And our responsorial psalm is the 23rd psalm. And your response is, The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside rest waters he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for his namesake. Even though I walk in the valley of darkness, I fear no evil. For you are at my side. With your rod and your staff, you give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness will follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The second reading is from John's Gospel. Jesus said to the crowd, Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it up on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. We mentioned at the very beginning that um, the ties of friendship and affection which knit us together throughout our lives don't come loose or unravel or disappear with the death of a loved one. Rather, they are a part of us and they remain with us. And I suspect over the last few days, you folks have been sharing memories, uh, recalling the special things that made Jim who he was, how he was special to you. And you've shared those memories. And sometimes there's sadness because you recall, well, We're not going to be able to continue to do some of those things, but the memories and the love and the sharing and the gift that he was is still with you and will always be with you and will never leave you. And in fact, that is what has made you in part who 
you are and what you are today. And so we gather then with gratitude and thanksgiving for the blessings that Kim brought to you. And we thank the Lord for those gifts that he shared so generously. And we pray uh, that the Lord may welcome him into his heavenly kingdom. The reading from John's Gospel reminds us that Jesus came down here for one thing, to lead us all to the Father. And that was his goal and his mission. He did that through his passion, his death, and his resurrection. As we heard in the first reading, he makes us all new in the Lord and then leads us to the Lord. And so he's called your Father to the Lord, and the Lord has welcomed him to his heavenly kingdom. I encourage you to continue uh, to share the memories, uh, to laugh over them, uh, to cry over them, but always to cherish them. Um, they are something that should be precious to you. We now turn to our Lord Jesus Christ with confidence and with faith in the power of his cross and resurrection to give Jim new life and to give us all new life. Your response is to these petitions is, Lord, have mercy. Risen Lord, pattern of our life forever, Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. Promise and image of what we shall become, Lord, Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. Son of God who came to destroy sin <coughs> and death, Lord, have mercy. Word of God who delivered us from the fear of death, Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. Crucified Lord, forsaken in death, and raised in glory. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, gentle shepherd, who brings rest to our souls, give peace to Jim forever. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bless those who mourn and are in pain. Bless Jim's family and friends who gather around him this evening. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray together prayer that our Lord gave to us as we call God our Father and so we say our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil kingdom and power and glory forever. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, you willingly gave yourself up to death so that all might be saved and pass from death to life. We humbly ask you to comfort your servants in their grief and to receive Jim into the arms of your mercy. You alone are the Holy One, you are mercy itself. By dying, you unlock the gates of life for those who believe in you. Forgive Jim his sins and grant him a place of light, happiness, and peace in the kingdom of your glory forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are those who have died in the Lord. Let them rest from their labors, for their good deeds go with them. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. And may he rest in peace. And may his soul and all the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. And may the peace of God, which is beyond all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And may Almighty God Bless us all and keep us, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.